Did you know that something the size of a full stop would raise your chances of recovering mobile assets such as electronics and motor vehicles when you lose them? Well, it is very possible and this is through a technology that is fairly new in Kenya called Microdot. Microdot is a unique asset identification protection and recovery system utilizing thousands of microscopic identifiers which have a unique serial numbers which ensures that your high risk assets are easily identifiable during their lifespan. Thousands of these are applied to assets and the information is stored on a central database. Malilok Kenya, a company that deals with motor vehicle security, has made history by becoming the first company to launch microdot technology in Kenya. <laughs> Mr. Timothy Keitany, the managing director, welcomes us to the Angong Road offices where they deal with this technology. Microdots are each made out of nickel metal, which boils at 1,200 degrees centigrade, therefore enabling us to install the microdots in very hot areas. Uh, the, com the, the liquid bonding the microdot on the surface of the asset is, uh, uses a UV detergent that enables law enforcement officers and anyone trying to do an inspection to be able to view it easily by putting UV light over it. The technology uses no form of computerization, hence it is immune to hacking and manipulation, unlike the conventional way of motor vehicle protection. People are using all forms or all manners of... Uh, Securing their vehicles um, using GPS trackers, steering lock box, uh, steering locks, and many other forms of just trying to protect your vehicles. And they are working, they are working, but still vehicles are being stolen. Motor vehicle spare parts have a high demand, and for that reason, car theft syndicates have found a lucrative business by stealing cars, chopping them off, and selling them as parts. It is estimated that on our Kenyan roads over 400 people lose their vehicles a day and yet the recovery rate is as low as 2% due to the existence of chop shops that aside from chopping the cars they use the parts to Frankenstein them and alter their identities. For any solution that you're trying to get into the market, I think the main thing first of all is to understand what is the value proposition to the people who are actually taking this particular solution on board. And I think the main, the one clear thing is that we're giving you a chance for a very small fee, we're giving you a chance for recovery. Kenya borrowed the technology from South Africa which has had high rates of car jacking and car theft in the continent and in 2012 a law was passed to have car dealers, assembly plants and spare part manufacturers use this technology to curb this vice. Uh, we are more focused on actually providing a solution first of all in that the, the, the people who are going to embrace this particular technology first of all and all the stakeholders that are going to uh, adopt this particular technology. What that will do in the essence, in the long run, is going to eradicate the market for stolen goods. The Kenyan legislatures are asked by the developers and distributors of this technology to go the South African way and make it law to use it in the auto industry. Already the government is seeing microdot as a solution, first of all for asset tagging, to identify cars that are being manufactured locally and cars that are being imported. So that's already an avenue for us because them, they're just exploiting one uh, angle for this particular solution, which is uh, mainly identification. The serial number on the dot are not visible to the naked eye, and for you to actually see the digits embroidered on the dot, you will need a hundred times magnifying hand microscope. Mr. Luca Keegan brought in his vehicle to be microdotted after having heard about its arrival in the country. Even though his car is one that appears to have all the latest forms of vehicle protection, he still believes that he needs that extra layer of microdot protection. Uh, what is different about this particular technology and innovation is the fact that most of the time if you have been able to keep track of what, how vehicles appear and they are never traced again, it's because some of them are stolen in a short while, they are taken into some carriages and they are dismembered and they, become, they are sold in formal parts. As I had earlier mentioned, the microdot is not just restricted to motor vehicle protection but also other electronic home and office appliances which are also prone to theft. When an item appears to be stolen, one would use an ultraviolet torch to identify whether the asset has been microdotted, and if so, a microscope is used to see the serial number on it, then traced to their owner, who is later called to collect his or her item, and probably press charges where injury had occurred.
growing up, our parents used to tag our school uniform, books and a time utensils with them or finding them when they get lost. But what we never knew is that one day this idea would give rise to a technology such as Microdot, which we have seen is used not only as a theft deterrent of mobile assets, but also for authentication of documents and the recovery of stolen motor vehicles. Samson Jura, KUTV, Nairobi. Bye.